Humans are under the illusion that they're the only sentient species on Earth. This is not true. There are ocean and water people too. Ocean and water people are all the whales, dolphins, manatees, and dugongs. Ocean people have souls like us, and individual soul patterns too. In many ways, the thought processes of whales are much more advanced than ours, and they're far more spiritually evolved. Whales think spherically, similar to holograms, while humans think in linear, two-dimensional perspectives. Cetaceans do have language, and their language uses a vast range of complex sound vibrations, but they also speak using telepathy. Whales not only have memories of the past, but they can consciously access previous lifetimes. This is something humans cannot currently do. Whale biologists can identify a bulbous section in the whale's brain, which seems to be different than the rest of the brain. This is a highly developed information bank in which multiple lifetime experiences can be stored and accessed. It's something humans are slowly beginning to evolve. The most suitable for interspecies communication are the pilot whale, the beluga, the orca, and the bottlenose dolphin. Belugas might be the most easy for humans to communicate with because they're the smartest intellectually. Dolphins are capable of relating closely on an intellectual level with humans but they're the teenagers of the cetacean family. They have great intelligence, but limited attention span and emotional maturity. They exist to play. Dolphins are the embodiment of joy. The blue whales are the oldest of all of Earth's insult species. They're the wisest and the least approachable, and also the most difficult to understand. In social structure, the ocean peoples are much more complex and well-rounded than humans, having a wide variety of different talents. Humans tend to specialize one talent to the diminishing of other abilities. Most ocean and water peoples are the monitors and caretakers of this Earth's oceans although orcas and blues have different functions. Blue whales are the great magi of the ocean, keepers of the records of the ocean and the relationship between humans and cetaceans. Much work is being done by cetacean scientists to secure rapidly deteriorating canisters of toxic waste that have secretly been dumped into the ocean by humans and research is being undertaken to contain the damage from nuclear power disasters, which have discharged into the oceans. Whales have made a pre-life agreement to teach humans. They have much wisdom to impart to us. Dolphins and whales are our teachers and learning respect for all species. Humans must begin to recognize cetacean kindness, the willingness to interact and to be self-sacrificial in order to assist humans at great cost to themselves. Cetaceans are currently divided as to whether they want humans to know about their sentience, their people's status. They rightfully mistrust human motive. Ocean people know that humans might snatch individuals and place them in confinement in order to study communication. It's difficult for them because larger species tend to sicken when kept in confined spaces. Dugongs and manatees are not very smart. This is due to habitat incursion and a limited gene pool.
that are here to manifest love in its most pristine and elemental form. They love everything and are the essence of innocence and purity. <laughs> 